Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM C tutorials. In this video, we'll see how to create ribs for any part using SOLIDWORKS. So ribs are basically the features that is used to strengthen the component and hence under the given loading condition, the component will deform lesser than the parts without ribs. Here on the screen, you can see that there is kind of a lid for a box and these are the ribs created for that part. On the screen you can see two simulation results performed using the static structural in the SOLIDWORKS. On the left hand side you can see that the part without ribs deforms around 1 mm while the part with the ribs deforms around 0.5 mm. So under the same load of 20 Newton distributed over the face of this lid the part with the ribs will deform 50% lesser than the original part. And that is the function of the ribs feature for any of the part. So rather than increasing the material over the entire face of the part, we can distribute the materials in the form of ribs in a more intelligent way so that within the specified weight of the component, we can have significant increase in the strength of the component. So if you are interested in the simulation part of these results, you can click on the i button or check the link in the description or pin comments. For this video, let's continue on how to create these ribs using the SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin it. So for that, we can start with a plain lid. So here we can see that this part is created using the revolve feature. And for that, here we can see the sketch for the revolve feature so you can check all the dimensions of this sketch you can take screenshot and then you can prepare the same sketch once the sketch is ready you can just revolve it for 360 degrees so this will be our base part and then we want to create ribs for this part so in order to create ribs we will require one solid part and then we'll require one sketch that will define the pattern of the rib. So this one is the solid part and to create a sketch for the ribs, we'll create one plane at a distance of 3 mm from this face. For that, we'll go to the features, references and select here plane. For the reference, select this face and enter the distance as 3 mm and ok on this plane we will create sketch for the ribs so select here sketch and normal now for the ribs you can either create a closed loop or an open sketch in our case we will create one circle at the center and then we will create 12 lines so click on the circle and create one circle with the center at the origin and here the diameter of the circle is of 30 mm now we'll create one horizontal line starting from the circle and ending to this edge now select here this line and we'll create multiple copies using the circular sketch pattern and specify here number of patterns as 12 and ok now we'll exit the sketch now select on this plane and make it hide so here we can see that this is our base part and this is the sketch for the ribs in order to create the ribs We'll go to the insert features and select here rib feature. Now, here it asks us to select the sketch. So, from the model tree, we'll select here the sketch that we have created. Once you select the sketch, it shows different parameters to create the rib. So, you can create three types of ribs. So, this will basically tell us that how the material will be added to the 
sketch so if you will select this one then the material will be added on either side of the sketch and the center one or this both side option will add material on both the side of the sketch so in this example we'll go with this center one the next one will be the thickness so basically for what thickness the material will be added in our case we'll select 2 mm as a thickness now after that here you can flip the direction of the rib to be created in our case we'll have it downwards direction towards this face now there is one more option so let's say uh, generally this kind of ribs are used in the parts that will be manufactured using the processes like casting or injection molding in that case it becomes very important to add draft angle so for this example we'll just click on this draft on and specify the angle as a 3 degree and then click on ok so here you can see that it has created the ribs for this part and if you zoom in you can see that it has added the draft angle so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button share it and subscribe to this channel CAD CAM CE tutorials thanks